and we're back. Okay, while we've been incubating this, we have labeled our plates, LB with PGLO negative, LB ampicillin with PGLO positive, LB ampicillin with PGLO negative, and LP, <coughs> LB ampicillin arabinose with PGLO positive. And I have two sets of plates here. So, we are now going to pull our tubes uh, from the eyes, we are going to uh, uh, put them into 42 degrees C for 50 seconds. So we have this water bath set to 42 degrees. Okay, so while we're waiting for that, um, we will. This is what we refer to as a heat shock. It's important to go change temperatures very quickly. So after we go uh, this 50 seconds, uh, we will be uh, putting the racks back on ice. Um, for two minutes. So now we're back into the ice for two minutes. And we'll get ready to start uh, doing our plates. We have to add 250 microliters of LB nutrient broth to the two tubes uh, prior to plating them. Actually, we will add 250 microliters of this uh, LB broth. It's a nutrient broth similar to what you've made and used. Uh, so we'll add uh, 250 microliters of that and then we will let it sit. Uh, at room temperature for 10 minutes before putting 100 microliters onto each one of our plates of the proper tube, of course. So we have another minute to go here, and then we will again add the LB broth and press on. Okay, I have my analytical pipette set to 250 microliters, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that up here and get ready to go. Okay, adding 250 microliters of the LB broth to our P glow positive tube. We want to use a new pipette. We don't uh, tip. We don't want to uh, contaminate the negative with the positive. We'll now add the 250 microliters of LB to the P glow negative. Now these will sit at room temperature. And mix them a little bit. These will sit at room temperature now for 10 minutes. 